Hi everyone, today I'm taking a request from one of my most loyal subscribers. I'm going to create an A2 sheet template and I'll show you how you can have different sheet sizes within the same sheet set. So first things first, let's create that template. I'm working on my source file called title blocks where I created my original A3 sheet template. So I'll just go to the layout tab, right click it, select mover copy, check mark create a copy, click OK and you'll see that the layout was duplicated. Select the copy and move it to the right, double click it to rename it and I'll rename that A2 title block. Now I'll right click that, go to Page Setup Manager, make sure the A2 title block is selected, click Modify, go to Paper Size, and from the drop down select an A2 size. And I just noticed that plot transparency is not checked here, so I'll just check that quickly. And I'm using the Local Plot Style 2, which we created in my last video, the one where all my lines are black, except for the ones that are of the color cyan. Click OK, close, and you'll see that the paper size immediately adjusted. The title block has not though, because this was drawn manually. So I'll just take a minute to adjust that to the new paper size. Make sure you're within the dashed line. So this is my new title block. It has all the information that was on my A3 size title block and you have much more space to add your drawings or viewports. I'll right click my layout tab again, go to page setup manager and now I'll create a new page setup for the new paper size. So I'll call it local page setup and between brackets A2 sheet. Click OK and just double check that the paper size is adjusted to A2 and I'm going to keep the same plot style that I created in my last video. Click OK and as you can see it appears here then click close. So first I'll save this DWG but also I'm going to save my drawing template. So I'll go to save as, change the file type to DWT, browse for the location where you want to save it and here I'm replacing my existing title blocks template. Click OK. And this part of the video is done now. Let's move to the sheet set. Type in SSM to open Sheet Set Manager. And my sheet set is already open here. Right click my sheet set, go to Properties, scroll down to Sheet Creation Template. And what we had already set was A3 title block. And all of my existing sheets are following that same sheet template. So I'll just click the icon on the right. And as you can see, now I have two options to choose from the A3 title block, which is the original one, and the A2 title block, which we just added now. So it appeared here once I saved my title blocks DWG, which is my source file. So I'll select A2, click OK, OK again. I'll select Apply Changes to Nested Subsets. So this means that whenever I click a subset to create a new sheet, my A2 title block will be the template that is going to be used for the new sheets without affecting the sheets that are already there. Let's follow through with an example. Sheet number would be 102. Sheet title, I'll just add the base plan again, just so I can demonstrate the difference. Click OK. And it may not be super clear, but in fact, the new New sheet was created as an A2 and to demonstrate that I'll go to model views go to base plan and drag in the view as a 1 to 50 just so you can see what it looks like on an A2 versus an A3 double click turn off the grid block the viewport click outside select the view don't forget this step place it on def point so this frame doesn't appear when you print and it came with the view label as well Let's update that because we're nice and neat. Right click, rename, renumber. This is U number one, base plan REA. Double scroll and I'm going back to sheet list and I'll open my original base plan that was on an A3 sheet so you can see the difference. So this is what a 1 to 50 plan looks like on A3. And this is what it looks like on A2. Within the same sheet set, I have sheets that are A3 as well as one sheet that's A2. Let's talk about publishing. You have to be careful because in this case, you can't publish using one page setup override. Let me show you what happens. If you right click, publish, publish using page setup override. First of all, you'll see that the new page setup appears here because we saved it in the DWT. So if I decide to publish my entire sheet set using this page setup, I'll save it for the sake of the demonstration. Sheet set, page setup, A2, select and let it publish. 
it did publish using the correct plot style and the correct paper size, but the title block for the existing sheets did not adjust, except for the last sheet. This one is appearing correctly. So this is to show you that in this case, you have to make sure that your page setups are up to date on each one of your sheets so that when you publish, you're going to use publish to PDF. Save and publish to PDF. Select, let it publish. Let's see what it looks like. So this looks okay. This is the page setup that we manually picked for this sheet. This one as well. This one has the green lintel. All of this was in my last video, but in my next one, it's grayscale because I never manually selected a page setup for it. Same applies to the one after, which is my furniture layout and my bathroom enlargement. But let's have a look at the new sheet. It's appearing in the correct page setup. It's an A2 sheet and it's using the correct plot style. Of course, when you print on physical paper, you're going to have to separate your A2s from your A3s. But I hope this answers your question and I hope it was helpful.